All right, our top focus is coming in once again from Afghanistan's capital where heavy gunfire and explosions are being heard at the military academy called Marshal Fahim National Defense University in Kabul. According to military sources, two attackers have been eliminated and one has been arrested. Security forces have blocked off all roads in the area as a security measure. This attack comes just a day after an ambulance packed with explosives killed 103 people in Kabul as many as 235 people were injured in that attack. For more on this, I am joined by Vyond's Ramesh Ramchandran on the phone line and uh, Mohammad Saleh who is joining us from the newsroom. First to you, uh, Ramesh, uh, good morning. Uh, please give us the latest information about this attack in Kabul. Archana, this uh, the latest incident. Uh, the target was the Marshal Fahim Military University in Kabul, and the attack began at about 5 a.m. local time. That's 6 a.m. India time or 23:30 GMT. An unidentified number of attackers are involved in this gunfight and this attack. Two of them have been killed, and one are reported to be captured. This, according to local Afghan TV reports. Remember, this was the same academy which was a target in October last year when 15 cadets of the academy were killed in a suicide attack on a bus carrying them. So this is uh, not the first time this academy has been targeted. But this, more importantly, after this comes, this is the third incident in the last uh, couple of weeks alone. In the last 29 uh, days of this month, uh, at least 163 people have been killed in five different attacks, Archana. That means at least six killings per day in the month of January alone. Right. Uh, Ramesh, I know it's too early, but has any group claimed responsibility for this attack? Well, Arsena, if the past is any indicator, we've heard, that we've seen the, uh, the Daesh claim responsibility for the attack on the Intercontinental Hotel. And uh, most recently, we heard, we saw the Taliban claim responsibility for the attack in which 103 people were killed on the 27th of this month. So, uh, if the footprint and the modus operandi of the uh, of the attackers anything to go by, it looks likely that it's the Taliban. But you have to wait and watch for more details to come in. All right, uh, please uh, hold on, Ramesh. I'm also joined by uh, Mohammad Saleh from the newsroom. Uh, good morning, uh, Saleh. Uh, in the recent past, and Ramesh was also telling us how uh, recently Taliban has stepped up its operations, its attacks. Uh, it started with the, that intercontinental attack uh, in Kabul. It was a highly guarded and secured hotel. And then we saw that ambulance attack again, Taliban claiming responsibility. For the benefit of our viewers, could you give us more details? Uh, there was a time when it, it felt that uh, Taliban has been wiped out from a few areas of Afghanistan and suddenly we see uh, the resurgence and reemergence of uh, Taliban. Give us more details on that, please. That's exactly correct, Archana. What we are seeing is essentially a sort of a war of attrition that is playing out between the Taliban and the Afghan forces. And also, let's, let's put this distinction and make it very clear. The Taliban and the ISIS are two competing groups. We do not know whether it is essentially these attacks are being carried out to try and stamp their authorities, stating that, look, we are here and we are able to carry out these attacks. Now, what happened at the Intercontinental Hotel, which is again a kind of a diplomatic enclave there, uh, Daesh claimed responsibility and, 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 you know, it was expected that immediately afterwards the Taliban may also try stage an attack. Now, so when this recent attack took place, uh, in uh, which was essentially an ambulance that was laden with bombs, and that also had to go through a couple of security checks. Now, what is interesting at this point of time, Archana, is that the areas which are being targeted are those that are heavily guarded. The attack that has taken place today is essentially a defense university, the Marshal Fahim Defense University, and one would expect that the militants would try and steer clear of an area that is guarded as, you know, as, as strongly as this. But at this point of time, it is extremely difficult to, in fact, predict as to how this entire thing will play out because there are way too many players at this point of time. The Afghan forces, they're finding themselves to be on the back foot because the Taliban clearly on the ascendant is able to strike them in the very heart of their capital. Now, a few years back, you had this distinction that was being made between the good Taliban and the bad Taliban. The U.S. was trying to somehow try and bring people on board to defeat Taliban. You know, it's difficult to understand as to how these entities such as the ISIS and Taliban operate because these are not the normal kind of terror sort of organization such as Al-Qaeda, for instance. Now, Taliban is, is a much more complex sort of uh, an organization. So is the ISIS. What they do, they carry out a lot of civic administration stuff 
in areas that they actually control. So people also have to decide in terms of which side that they would actually sway towards. If they see that the Afghan government does not quite have the say, sway and does not control territory and does not build infrastructure there, then people are more likely to sway towards the Taliban and towards the ISIS. And that's exactly what's happening at this point of time. What we are looking at is the Taliban, which is on the ascendant, the Taliban, which is able to carry out strikes in the heart of Kabul, clearly sending out a message to the Afghan and also to the American forces who are there, who are operating there, that look, it is not easy to wipe out Taliban. It is a war that's gone on for well over 17 years. And despite the fact that the Americans have tried to do everything they possibly can, the Taliban is on the ascendant. The Daesh and the ISIS are also operating in Afghanistan. So there are several players who are involved. And, and it's difficult to, in fact, predict as to what will, in fact, play out in the near future in Afghanistan. All right. Thank you so much, Mohammed Saleh and Ramesh Ramachandran, for that update and the visuals that we were playing with the uh, latest visuals that we had uh, from that academy, that uh, Marshal Fahim National Defense University that was attacked this morning by attackers. Two attackers have been eliminated by security forces. One, according to sources, has been arrested and heavy gunfire was exchanged when that uh, operation was underway. And on your screens are those visuals. Uh, security forces at the academy. Remember, this is not the first time when this academy, this university, has come under attack. Uh, last year in October, 15 cadets were killed when they were on their way back home in the vehicle that they were in exploded. There was a suicide attack and it was uh, exploded in the second time. We see uh, so far, fortunately, no casualties on the security forces side, but uh, two uh, uh, terrorists have been eliminated uh, in this attack.